Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I'm bringing you Myth on Island, which just released today, December 21st of 2020. Now, I've already played about three hours of this game on stream, and the video's already up. So if you're watching this, then you will also be able to go and watch three hours of me playing it. But I'm going to act like you all did not watch any of that, and I'm going to do a series on it. So let's get started. Uh, apparently I forgot my clock was running 40 hours my god but before we get started I just want to say a few things uh, first off make sure you subscribe secondly make sure you like the video and if you want to get a, a you know myth on island then look in the description below because I'm gonna have the steam page URL for it right now it's 10% off since it just launched now this is a monster taming game that's inspired uh, inspired by Slay the Spire and has Nuzlocke qualities to it. Uh, this out of nowhere popped up uh, on Twitter and I've loved it since the first tweet. So let's get started. This little dude, uh, what's it? Uh, Astrim, I forgot, but we will find out. So, story mode and survival mode. Let's just go into story mode first off. Extremely nice graphics. Hello, welcome to Mython Island. I sense great power coming from you. Tell me, what is your name? Oh dear, do you not remember? Amnesia would, uh, it would seem. You need not worry, I will help you. But first, you must make a choice. Please close your eyes. You will need help to get started on Mython Island. Which one calls to you? Yeah, so you have faux peep, which is fire element, vapion, which is grass element, and sharwa, which is water element. Now, in my stream, I've used all of them. I've even, I'm not going to say what, because you know what, you all are going to find out. But, I'm going to go with vapion. Although, faux peep, as a starter, is my favorite. So, you wish to choose vapion, the grass element mython. It's going to be a huge yes. Congratulations, Vapion has joined your party. So, don't want to nickname it. Don't like nicknaming stuff. Welcome back. The creature you've now bonded with is called a Mython. You may notice your backpack is a bit heavier. I've added items to help you on your journey. Obtained a Mythosphere, one basic aid capsule, and 1000 Mulu. Now, uh, I'm going to go through this first part. Um, Show, uh, you know, I'm going to go through this first part and I'm going to talk a little bit about it afterwards. The Mythosphere in your bag will allow you to build bonds with future Mython. It will hold four Mython total. If you wish to recruit more, you must part ways with one. Each Mython holds a unique element, all with strengths and weaknesses. Choose your bonds wisely. You will need their help on your journey. Look out. It's the Mython known as Astrium. How curious. Ashram is known to very rarely show itself. It seems it wants to test your strength. You must use the Mython you bonded with. Get ready. Um, actually, I am going to go through the tutorial for you all. So welcome to the Mython Island Battle Tutorial. This is the battle screen. Here you are about to see vital information on the player and enemy HUD. This includes Mython level, name, element, current HP, and current AP. So, level, name, element, current HP, current AP. Level will influence the skills the Mython is capable of currently learning as well as influence total stats. HP and AP stats are hit points and action points. HP determines how much strength your Mython currently has left. If it reaches zero, your Mython bond will break and it will be gone for good. Managing HP and AP is important as they will not regenerate after a Mython encounter. They will only be restored by using items or by encountering certain events. The goal of a battle is to either reduce the enemy's HP to zero to win, or bond with the opposing Mython, adding it to your party with the Mythosphere item. However, it would be wise to lower the enemy's HP first, the more you weaken the target, the better odds you have of bonding with an encountered Mython. The current Mython element is indicated by the icon on the Mython HUD. Each Mython has an associated element with varying strengths and weaknesses. 
It is important to realize when you are at an, an advantage or a disadvantage when facing Mython. If you are at a disadvantage in element or low on HP, you have the option of swapping out your current Mython on the field for a Mython in your party if you have more than one available. Knowing the elements and when to swap members is crucial to strategy on Mython Island. AP will be utilized to perform various skills of a Mython is capable of. If you don't have enough AP to use a skill, Strike is a basic element zero AP cost skill that will do very small amount of damage that can be used from the main battle menu. Skills are categorized into physical, ether, and support skills. Support skills are capable of buffing or debuffing an ally or opposing Mython. Physical skills use the user's attack stat and target the enemy's defense, while ether skills use the ether stat and target the enemy's ether defense stat. The speed stat of a Mython will influence which Mython strikes first. This will also influence how items are used. Items are obtained by defeating Mython, visiting shops, or by clearing certain events. Some items can be used both in battle and outside of battle, while others can only be used in battle. When an item is used in battle, the speed stat will determine if the ally uses the item before the enemy makes its move. So keep this in mind. If you lose all Mython in your party, the run will end and you will be returned to the main menu. Best of luck on your journey. Good luck and have fun. Damn, damn. So first off, I want to point out the grass is freaking awesome. I like the menus. I like the particle effects here. It's a nice, no matter where you look, it is a nice background. Astrim and Vapion. He, this is a lunar type. But this is a grass type. Um, I mean, look at the grass. So freaking nice. And I like the black outline and stuff, you know, modeling. I like the menu. So this is a strike. This is a skill list. Let's see. Entangle. 8 AP. So he hit me for 11. I hit him for 13. So we are all good. Now I'm going to be showing you also support. Here's guilt. So the user's uh, the user guilts the target for fighting applies weak status lowering targets effect. Uh, I'm sorry attack by 20% for three turns The user unleashes a barrage of toxic spores towards the target 50 base power So you can also go to the backpack if you want to and use a basic aid capsule mythosphere So doo -doo 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 -doo. I got to remember some stuff but then you have toxic toss the user unleashes a barrage okay i already said it but anyways that is ether this is entangle physical if i'm right vapion's um stats are better for physical i think so right now this is only on steam for windows but the thing is um i just use toxic toss on accent Oh well. Oh, one second. Got hit with strike, so it's barely. The thing is, whilst he's only on Steam for right now, he was talking about the Vision Stead Studio, the creator of Myth on Island, was talking about how if they do well enough, they are going to okay, bond successfully made with Astrum. See, I used a Mythosphere. Caught it. And it's HP and AP stays that way, so you have to count. You have to take that into account when you're catching. So yes, I can add Ashram to your party now. If you press no, don't worry. It'll ask if you really want to abandon it. You can say no, I want to keep it. So yes, Adam. Do I want to? Would you like to uh, to be called? Exactly. Got him. Won the battle. Let's see what we got. 500 Mulu and one basic AP ca uh, capsule. So let's look at the stats, and I'll complete that thought in a second. Ah. Uh, didn't completely clean up something when I thought I did. It's nice to suddenly have water. I can. Anyways, let's look at the stat gains. Max HP 63, max AP is 58. Uh, attack is 53, so I told you attack's better for him. Defense 58, uh, ether attack 42, ether defense 53, and speed of 47. Now this seems like a, this is rather a universal leveling nuzlocke 
monster taming game inspired by Slay the Spire. So 60, 66, 53, 48. Uh, so they're both good for attack. Now let's see what this dude has to say. Very well done. I knew I sensed great power from you. I have no doubt you will be able to overcome the island. I suggest making your way to the hidden waterfalls in this force. They hold very great power. Be sure to keep a keen eye. This island is home to many powerful threats. So, the Mythosphere will allow you to see a small way ahead of your current location. This will allow you, uh, this will allow you to strategically plan out which path is best for you to take. Choose wisely, prepare, and good luck. So you have only these three. Faithful Counter, we have four, but Faithful Counter, Cap Capitadon Shop, and Place of Power. Now before I wanted to go any further, I did want to say something, and that is that I asked about the stats. I said, are the stats, are stats the same for Mython if they are level, say, X? You know, level X, level 1, level 2, whatever. Or are their base stats static? Uh... Uh, uh so if so he uh vision said said base stats are static but they will vary between mython of course because of the different base stats for each one so um say uh what is it bo peep i'm i'm getting the fo peep anyways vapion sharwa and fo peep I, either ways vapion when you start out will always have the same stats so then I asked, uh, and when they level up, is the increase RNG to an extent? They said the status development will be the same each time on a per on basis, so it's not RNG based on that. Good to know. Now, the rightfully, there's 90 Mython right now. They're wanting to add more. But let's just pick one. Now, I'm once we get back to that menu, I am going to show you something. So this is Galveon. There's Faux Peep. I think it's Faux Peep's name. Entangle. Ooh, he is more powerful than me. Not effective. See how it just costs him? Set six. Now I will tell you, I am about to lose Vapion. Let's hope he's faster. He is, but it does not matter because he will be taken out. So we're going to have to start over again. Choose Vapion. As you can see, I'm left with only a strike because of all this. Oh no, you've suffered a terrible fate. So that is what happens when you lose. Story mode. Now, right now, you cannot skip through this. But they were talking about... The uh, Vision Stead Studio, I think, was talking about... Possibly taking out... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, they were talking about taking out... Skip for the initial scene. So, pretty much... I'm going to show you, once we get back to the menu... All the stuff we can do, but... Uh, we're going to pick someone else. I'll pick Sharwa. Yes. Confirm. So this is Sharwa. I think they're good at ether damage. Yeah, I've been waiting for this game for quite some time. Uh, again, I streamed it for three hours if you all want to go see that. I did quite a bit in it. Quite a bit of dying. I'm going to... Even if something's better for me, story-wise... Uh, I'm probably going to do whatever is unique. So. Ooh, no one's Astram. New. Alright. Skill list. Physical. Sw see, Swift Splash. 
and Dashing Blow, which is neutral. Aqua Vortex, which applies Swash status, lowering the target's Ether stat by 20% for 12 AP. But I'm going to do Swift Splash to save AP. But it just lowered my attack stats for 3 turns by 20%. Mm, 15. Physical Swift Splash. Spatial Burst. Just gonna hit him again. And with that, I'm going to use a Mythosphere. It's going to hit me with a strike before I can because realize that the Mythosphere does not get priority. It goes along with speed. Yes, I would. Confirm. So, what they were thinking about is if there's enough cells, they're possibly wanting to port it to Switch. Now, this is a game that's 85% done. The story mode's done. Survival mode has some more stuff going to be added on to it. And Vision Set is planning on another mode as well. So level 6, 67. So 67, 61. Horrible attack. Uh, eh, defense is eh. Ether attack's 57. So 23 more in attack. You see where we're going to go with that. Speed's 42. Not the greatest. Because it looks 60, 66, 53. He's a physical attacker. 48, 47, 48. And 59, he's definitely faster than Sharwa. Alright, get through this. Get right back through it. Now, if your computer has trouble running it, don't worry. Go into settings. And then, when you go into settings, you'll find a your a graphic setting like quality you can put on low so let's look at check party this is what comes up when you do check party you have an overview which shows you shower level six ashram level six and play time mulu and your current time i just did that let me go back again <coughs> excuse me there's held items right now i don't have any held items then myth on info you can click on sharva and you can look at their stats. You can go to like their attacks, view what their attacks do. And then you can go back, close menu. You can go into your backpack. Now, basic aid capsule. Look at this. I've held. I've healed them. Just healed them again. Close backpack. You can save the game. You can return to menu. But let's just go straight into another encounter. Whirly. Now, I have not seen Whirly yet. I th think Whirly is effective against Rock Top. Alright. And if you want to go look at the stream, uh, Vision Stead Studio was in the chat some. So, we had a good time. Good time. Aqua Vortex. Ooh. And Swift Splash. Really uses guilt. Backpack. Nah. He's Swift Splash once again. Let me use him one more time. Twenty-four, two. Okay, so it's eleven. Backpack, Mythosphere. Caught him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yes, I do want to add him. Join the party. Confirm. In the battle. Yep.
Alright, 500 Mulu. So, each time we defeat a Mython, we go up a level. Let's see. Okay. Again, their attack's good. His attack's good. Hit, so, 65, 72. That's a ton of AP. That is a ton of AP. Uh, attack 61, 49, 58. So, high stat, high A, sorry, high AP, high attack, uh, decent attack, and high speed. And, I'm not going to do Faithful Counter again because I want to do something different, which is Place of Power as many options. I'm not going. To, I'm not going to be able to show you all completely all of them, but here it is. Welcome. You may increase your Mython bonds here. Choose your desire. So you can evolve. You can do get a skill scroll, a random stat boost, and heal a Mython. So not everything can evolve. Of course, there's only a limited amount of evolutions, but you can evolve. It also heals the Mython completely. Skill scrolls. Let me go and explain that. It'll give you options from a couple of skill scrolls, which all it means is that you have a skill that you can use one time as an item. You also have a random stat boost. Uh, one time it boosted like my speed or something by 10. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then you just heal a Mythons pretty straight up. So let's go ahead and just do evolution. So an evolution will change a Mython entirely. Stats, element, skills, and appearance will undergo change. Doesn't mean it necessarily will change, but it could. So let's go with the starter, Sharwa. Now I already know what it's going to evolve into uh, in this instance. I don't know what these guys are. I mean, just look at the background right here nice everything about this background is pretty freaking nice these guys are nice nice animation nice uh sky nice grass nice i don't know it, it just looks really freaking good that's all there is to it evolution imminent and it has evolved into a torque i'm gonna leave the name the same don't like nicknaming much and i also want to keep uh uh learning Names, protect your bonds. Good luck from place of power. Path cleared. So. Let me show you. Hit it on shop. Next time we'll go back to place of power. Since we have skill scrolls and all this stuff going on over there that we can still do. So welcome. Please come spend some moolah from Kapitadon, which is this dude. Don't know who this dude is. And again, look at the background. So let's buy. So we have basic aid, HP, power gem, uh, which costs 3,000. You can see it over here. Buys 3,000, sells 1,500. Inventory zero, and Mulu is 2,000. Physical power gem, super aid capsule, which I am interested in one of them. Also interested in this one. Price is 1,300. Perfectly fine with that. I have the money. And leave. You can also sell, but they sell for much less. Time is Mulu. Good luck. So this is what we have. Closed backpack and question mark, question mark, question mark. Loaded figure. Don't be alarmed. I'm simply here to ask you something. Tell me, have you met with the orb? Silent type, huh? I hate to do this, but I need to make sure. We need to make sure you are prepared. I trust you have Mython in your of your own. Get ready. So this is a backside of Torque. This is a Min C, another water type. So this is the two I have: Lunar and Wind. His attack sucks, but his ether's good. So, Aqua Vortex also is going to decrease his attack by 20% for three turns. 75. Not effective, but it got decreased his, his physical. So, we're going to be hit with a dashing blow for AP of 6. Aqua Vortex. Also did washed, okay. 67, so 12. Physical, sorry, physical, ashing blow.
physical and dashing blow once again. Dashing blow does a neutral uh, type attack for 6 AP and it's 50 base. His physical is lower, but this is ineffective, or his water type is ineffective against this. And Aqua Vortex is pretty costly. Double as costly as, or doubly as costly as Dashing Blow, which is neutral and it's just going to hit for straight 12. 37 to 31. Sorry. Dashing Blow. Guilt. And there we go. You win the battle. Victory gains. You got Mulu. Now look at the background. The fire's nice. Particle effects. Nice outline. Nice grass. Weed. Or a weed. Uh, flowers. Mushrooms. Hooded figures. Cool looking. 65, 68, 56. So. Attack. Okay. Dashing blows learned by Whirly. His HP is increased by three. His attacks good. His speed still great. His ether attack is trash. His ether attack is trash. Twenty one or forty nine. Four ether defense is great. Okay, so it's more defense oriented. Very well. At, ver at the very least, you seem capable. Just watch your back and be mindful who you trust. We will meet again soon. Count on it. Hello? Don't be alarmed. This is a mysterious orb. I'm communicating to you telepathically with the mythosphere. It, all, it also grants me vision to what you're seeing. I should have warned you better of them. Those hooded figures inhabit this island. I advise staying away. No good can be gained from interacting with them. Just be careful. Let's keep on moving towards the hidden waterfalls. So, instead of going here, I'm going to go back to a place of power. So, skill scrolls. Skill scrolls offer one-time use of powerful skills. Choose wisely. Double smack or entangle. Go with double smack. Now, Myth on Island, Vision Stead, rather, Vision Stead Studios is going to... Let's go to Faithful Encounter. Is going to add more Myth on, is going to add more attacks, and is going to add more items. 85% done, not completely done. But here's Pence, Pencian, another water type. Let's check it. Could have healed, forgot about that. So, dashing below. 72 to 61. 40 to 33, okay. Dashing blow. This is fine. This is actually fine. So, dashing blow again. Down 39. 26. So, down to 8. eight. And I'm, I'm, I'm worried that he's going to switch into or do another attack that's going to kill me. It's happened before. So here's Ashram. 33 to 18. I'm faster than him, 38 to 28. Two, okay, already swap. Whirly, 31. Let me try this. Strike. 
do another one of those, or... You know what? Nah. I'm gonna save everyone trouble and just use Mythosphere. Oh. Caught him. Yes, I want Pincian. Nope, just want regular Pincian. Never seen this guy. 500 Mulo. So everyone goes up a level when you defeat a Mython. So this is now... Crazy speed, crazy HP, crazy AP. And he's third. Ether attack over. Physical attack. He's physical over Ether. And he's got Piercing Cry learned. Let's see, draft learned. Okay. 81 HP 70. So Ether attacks better. I thought it just showed Ether was worse. A a anyways. 75, 70. 72, 72. Man. His speed was low. So path cleared. Alright. Torque. Let's go to a question mark, question mark, question mark. Please do not be. It appears to be raining Mulu. What? You pick up as much as Mulu as you can handle. 2,000 Mulu. How lucky. Alright, I have not experienced that before. Alright, best is story related. Yeah, dang it. See that? It's an energy surge seeping out from the island. The cause? The orb. So I ask you again, are you working with the orb? Same as before, huh? Let's see how you've grown since then. Well, not much because you just battled me and I don't. Give me a break. Saint Hike, which is lunar. I forgot what lunar is weak to. Let's see if it's air. Not effective. No, 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 no. It's super effective against air. Okay. Whirly may have to go bye-bye. Sacrifice for the sake of figuring out types. Ah, yes, that's the case. That That is what it is. Oh, okay, well. And seeing. Spawn. Guilt. <laughs> Just try back. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah, you can check the status of your myth on. Astrium. No. Mm -hmm. Um, you almost instinctively want to hit strike. Uh, Vision Stead Studio actually was talking about that. Um, uh, makes sense when I mention it. Once he's gonna change it. I think it's physical. Dashing blow. Special burst. My god. Physical. Dashing blow. Spine man. Dashing blow. He hit me with strike. Good. Means he's KO'd. Let's see. 
Special verse. Let me be faster. 8270. Okay. <sighs> right now, for some reason, it's only pulling up this one. Oh, right click to change methon. Up here. Uh, if it was a different color, that would help. Okay, so either attacks. Okay, 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 okay. This either attacks better, but dashing blow is 32, 23, 72. Okay. I just have to hope the AI messes up. Yes, guilt. Strike me. 16. Okay. All I can hope for is a strike. Actually, I can't hope for it because he, he beats me either way. Ten, two, zero. Whirly. Whew. Victory gains, 1,000 Mulu. Found a super aid. Capsule. So, he's gonna go to level 11 because I beat 2 Milu. So, 75, 77, 67. Okay. Oh man. Lost pretty much everyone. Strong as ever. Let me just say one thing. If you are in fact with the orb, you'll regret what is to come. Good job handling yourself again. Uh, don't, don't listen to them. They're no, nothing but troublemakers. You're capable, and with my help, we will gain your memory back. The hidden waterfalls are not far away now. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I will be doing other episodes, future episodes. In fact, I'm about to record another one. I just wanted to make it a super long one for the first episode. If you want more content and you don't have episode 2 out yet, then make sure you go check out my stream, which was 3 hours of content. Anyways, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you subscribe and like the video. And retro on.